Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're gonna to talk about how moving abroad affects you, how physically moving affects you, how it affects your values, and how it helps you discover a bit more about you. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this one, here we go. In this video, we're gonna tackle three questions. The first is, does moving physically to another country matter? Number two, do you really know what you value? And number three, do you really know what you like as a person? Whoa, it's gonna get deep today. You're not gonna wanna miss it. If you don't know us, we are a family of six that have moved from the US to New Zealand and have been here for eight years. And I'm just sharing my journey and my perspective on this channel. So subscribe and like if you like this kind of content. And just so you know, I am almost done and will hopefully be in the description below is a free resource if you are considering moving to New Zealand. It's everything you need to know in order to do that and you're going to want to check that out here we go okay number one how has moving abroad changed me in terms of like actually is it important to physically move from one location to the other specifically another country and there is a lot of research out there and there's a lot of people that have talked about like physically just even moving to a different town in a new location that just kind of sets you on fire and and forces you to kind of dive in and to try new things and it's good for you overall but what does that mean in terms of moving abroad? Well, let me tell you, it just takes moving to like the next state or the next town, a whole nother experience. You're moving into a new culture and that's a whole nother level of learning, okay? And it's an extra, extra level if they speak a different language, if their style of living is quite different than you're used to, then that's a whole lot of learning. But let's talk about some of the benefits of that. The number one benefit is the brain health. When you are forced into a whole new culture, every single thing, almost, every single, single thing is done differently. How you get your food, how you drive, where things are, what's on the roads, like how you your kids go to school, how you do things. When it's so new, it's mind blowing for your mind and it's really good. You know that using your brain is really good for you. And so one of the best things you can do is put yourself in a new environment. And let me tell you, like I can tell, I can definitely tell <laughs> because I, like when I first moved here for the first couple of years and like just had to, I'm always on. Like the, when you're in a different culture, nothing is given. Every day I'm learning new things. And so like you think you understand everything, you don't. And a good example of this is when I go back to the US and I try to make content and I talk about some of the differences because I have a lot of people in New Zealand on my channels that are, would be interested in knowing life over there, it's hard for me because I don't see the difference because it's what's normal. It's kind of what I grew up with and so to me that's what's normal and so I'm not understanding what would be odd. But when you're in a new country, it's, oh, it becomes really obvious and I mean, every day people say things that I don't actually know what that means. Sometimes I pretend, sometimes I ask, it all depends. But, you know, it's not always easy. <laughs> So it's really good for your brain health. It also forces you to learn about different ways of doing things. And that is good. And a lot of times you change that. And so like, it's really good. You're forced to learn and you're forced to gain a new perspective. It really challenges all of that because you're like, wait, what? You know, I can't, I mean, I could give you, re and I've talked about this all over my channel, but like to kind of put it together, like, the way that people perceive Americans, the way that Americans look at history, and then like the way that the British look at history, and the way that people in, you know, Australia, New Zealand look at history. I'm like, whoa, it gives you a whole different perspective, and that's nothing but a good thing for you. So if you're considering a move abroad, think about all of the benefit it is to your brain, to your perspectives. You know, like we, and I think that as you get older, you really start to value learning different perspectives. And you can get that by talking with people. You can get that by watching YouTube videos. You can get that, you know, when they're being honest anyway. You know, it's a little bit better than TV because people always tell me, I really like your channel, I like your videos because you're so authentic and, and real. And that's what people are just thirsting for. They're like real things, true things, honest things. And so, yeah, like, it's just, it's just so good for you and your brain to kind of get a different perspective. And it actually challenges your current perspectives and to be like, oh, what do I actually think about that? And it's nothing but good for you. It's nothing but good for you. So if you're considering a move abroad, um, whether that's New Zealand or anywhere in the world, do it, you know? And so many times people think like they don't want to do it because they have to do it forever. 
Like you don't need to do it forever. Do it for a year, do it for two years, do it for five years. The amount that you will gain, the perspective, the life changingness, the person that you become, and we'll kind of continue to talk about this in this video, is so good for you. It is so good for you. If you have a bad experience, it's good for you. If you have a good experience, it's good for you. I'm telling you, as a person, you win either way. Number two, let's talk about values. When you move abroad, you learn what you value, okay? Let me just say that I know I've talked about this in other videos, but it doesn't matter. This is a concept that you really need to understand. So you know, like if you've gotten married in the past, all of a sudden you realize, oh, I don't, didn't know that I value that. Or if you had a relationship that's really long or whatever your situation is, you're like, oh, somebody does things differently. It clashes with what you think and you realize what you actually value. People don't walk around and just know what they value. It isn't until it comes against somebody that thinks differently that you realize what you value. So just imagine that in the context of moving abroad. You're like, oh, okay. So like, so many values are different and so many ways of doing things. What you don't realize is so much of what you value equals the societal values that you're in, that you grow up in, that you live in. And that's, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying realize what it is, okay? And so it isn't until you, t you step out of that typical societal values that you are used to and go into new ones that you get to discover, oh, these people value this, I'm used to this value over here. What do I actually think about that? And it gives you a chance to really fine tune what you value. So you as a person become very clear on what you think about things and why you think about things. And like I talked previously, your perspective changes. So your perspective influences your values. And now they either become deeper, they become clearer, they become just, just more in depth and just yeah, it's great. It's great, you guys. And you know this when you talk to other people that maybe have just been in one place, done the same job, da, 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 you know, like very little change. You know, we all know people with very little change. I'm not judging them. I'm just saying um, <clears throat> these aren't like have twos in your life to have the most fulfilling life, but it is in terms of you improving as a person you understanding yourself as a person. If that's a goal of yours, for some people, they're okay. They're happy with their job and doing what they want on the weekend or whatever, and that's fine. Everybody needs to define their own happiness, their own, <laughs> you know, comfortability and what they want to accomplish in life in their own, you know. I don't want to go, you know, and be 90 years old, planning on being 90, planning on being 100, um, and have regrets, right? So for me, I value travel, I value experiences, I value growing, growth mindset, I value changing and improving all the time and getting new skills and doing different things. This is why I've had so many different jobs. I've run five different small businesses, some major failures, some kind of successes. Nothing's outrageously amazing, but I am growing and that's important to me. And if that's important to you, you might wanna consider a move abroad. And the last thing that I want to talk about is discovering you, okay? Discovering you. So if you're young and you're on this journey and figure out what you want to do, what you like to do, what you're passionate about, I'm telling you a little bit of travel, a year abroad, two years abroad, going and putting yourself in situations that you're curious about, that you've always wanted to check out, that is good for you, okay? Because a couple of things. Number one, we are very adaptable creatures, okay? You're gonna be fine. You can tell your mom, your dad, you're gonna be fine, okay? You're adaptable. You can adapt and you can handle it and you could find out a lot about what you could handle and how you, who you are by how you handle something that's totally different than you're used to, right? We all know this, and maybe you don't if you're 20 or even 40, I guess we all learn at different times, but we all know that it's in the trials and the difficulties where growth happens, where real learning happens, where real change can happen in our brains because we, whoa, 
we're forced to make a decision, we're forced to be a different person in order to be successful. I'm forced to learn how to be successful in this job market or in this education situation. And you have no idea always what it is that you will like until you're a challenged against something that's different. You know, a lot of times, just it takes a lot of mental focus. Like you can do that by talking with someone. There's other ways of doing it, but let me tell you, if you're throwing yourself in a new situation, that's where you discover you, okay? Because it's when you're forced against, you know, a totally different idea, a totally different mindset that you really realize that. And like, and you can then at that point decide on the type of person that you're gonna be because that person is either gonna be, you know, oh, I am going to be more American in this situation, or I'm gonna be, you know, more relaxed in this situation. It's just it's like, it's, it's, a, it's the greatest journey to discover you. If you have any desire, not everybody is a traveler, not everybody wants to do that, but I don't think that that's who I'm talking to in my audience. <laughs> in my audience, if you're considering moving abroad, it doesn't have to be all the way to New Zealand, it could just be to Canada if you're in the US. Canada is quite different. The way that they do things is quite different. I went there and thought, whoa, this really reminds me of New Zealand. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's cool. So um, you just don't really know what you like until it comes against something that's different. So if you are still sitting in an area that's always the same and your life is always the same and you're working in the same job and you go to the same dinners and you eat, you know, the same food and the same situation, you're probably dying inside. I know, I've been there. You're dying inside because you need to do something different and you need to do something that challenges you and helps you move in the direction that you ultimately want to. You want to grow and change and improve. I hope you enjoyed the video today. You know, this is just some of the things that I've been thinking about, about how moving abroad really changes someone and how do I think it's a value? Yes, I do. And I think that it's important. I would love to hear your comments below if you've moved abroad and what you've learned. I also would love to hear comments about other things you'd like me to talk about. Um, I feel like I've kind of exhausted everything I could possibly tell you about New Zealand unless other, you know, as new things come up. But like, let's just, let's talk about other things. Let's talk about personal growth. Let's talk about mindset. Let's talk about other things. Comment below. I would love to hear your stories. And I would really appreciate it if you took the time to do that. I will see you guys next week. Subscribe below. See ya.